Welcome to our weekday church at home from the Bryanston Catholic Church. Today is Tuesday of the 16th week of Ordinary Time. We would like to share our experience of the Word of God during this time of the coronavirus pandemic of Father Keith and Father Tsepo on isolation. Let us pray. Show favour, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made for vent in hope faith and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading comes from Matthew 12, verse 46 to 50, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, while Jesus was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside, asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brethren, for whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and my sister and my mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, Father Keith asked me to share with you some of my thoughts on this reading. In this reading, Jesus could sound a little disrespectful. However, we should read it in the light of how Jesus seizes the chance to widen that biological family group so that we are all members of one family where God is our father. Firstly, he belongs to the family he was born into. He is not denying family ties, but extending them. His physical and spiritual relationship with Mary, his mother, is a given. Jesus has no intention of dishonoring that. But there's another relationship that is based not on blood, but on faith. It comes from answering the call of Jesus to follow him. Mary is the model disciple. She is fully open to God's will and supports Jesus in his ministry. She is our gentle mother and helps all of God's children to become brothers and sisters in Christ. So what is wonderful for us is that in this passage, Jesus identifies his sisters and his brothers as those who do the will of God the Father. We are all God's children, whom he desires to shape and mold into disciples of his love. His loving presence is reaching out to us in our lives, even in the most unlikely situations. Being a disciple brings great privilege. It means that I'm a member of the family of Jesus. Let us pray thee, Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. God of infinite mercy, in this time of the coronavirus pandemic, we ask you to give us the courage to take care of one another as Jesus did. We pray for those who are ill, especially those who are frightened and alone, for those who cannot access health care, for those who are homeless and lost, for those who are dying, and for those who have died from this virus. For those who tame them and for those with no one to tame them. Amid our own anxiety, we ask you to give us the courage to support one another as you would, especially for those who find themselves unexpectedly unemployed. Grant courage and wisdom to the employers who share what they can for our government financial institutions and those who lead them. 
during our struggle to ensure a healthy future for all who live on this planet. We ask you to give us the hope that surpasses our current understanding. Grant compassion, caring and wisdom to all healthcare workers, medical researchers, spiritual readers and our faith communities. Within our growing awareness that all life on earth is connected, we ask for the heart to respect and cherish all life, that all peoples recognise that we are all your children. For these and all our other needs, Lord, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.